There are many fish that are still considered reef safe when more recent experience suggests that they probably shouldn't be and should probably be considered reef safe with caution. In this video, I'm gonna go over the five most common ones. We're also gonna show you a method of determining whether or not you have a fish that is actually picking at your corals and make sure that you stay to the end. We have some cool footage of a toad. If you haven't noticed already, we have really cool nature clips at the end of all of our videos and make sure you check those out. Reef safe is a term that we use to delineate animals that should be 100% not eating our corals and not damaging our corals in some way. Um, reef safe with caution is a term that we use to describe animals that usually are not gonna be damaging or eating our corals, but sometimes might and should probably have a close eye kept upon them. And then not reef safe, of course, means that they're almost definitely gonna be eating or somehow damaging the corals in your reef aquarium. First up, we're gonna talk about the dwarf angels. Many people think that these are reef safe, especially if you feed them enough. Many new hobbyists are tricked by the name Coral Beauty. Why else would it have that name if it weren't reef safe? These are very popular fish, but they will nearly always pick. We have pulled so many coral eating fox face out of reef tanks that at this point, I'm starting to wonder if any of them are reef safe. A lot of people think that most fox faces won't pick, but it's probably more accurate to say that many fox faces don't start picking immediately. Give them time and they probably will. This is another fish where I sold a lot of them to people against our recommendation just to have them returned later, assuming they survived. See, copper band butterfly fish are often recommended as aptasia control. It's important to keep in mind that with the exception of Bergia nudibrox, anything that eats aptasia will likely eat similar animals like the desirable corals in our aquariums. Copper bands are also not very hardy and don't easily adapt to aquarium life. These fish should probably only be kept by expert aquarists with a lot of experience caring for fish. I know this is going to be a very unpopular opinion, but we have also removed so many tangs from reef tanks just to have them suddenly do better that it bears warning new hobbyists from adding them to their aquariums at all. When working retail, I helped many people diagnose issues in their aquarium, getting increasingly less likely and more niche, only to have them bring in a blue hippo tang in a Ziploc bag saying, I figured out why my corals were dying. If you must keep a tang, you're probably safest with Tinnicatus tanks. And these have the added benefit of being small and somewhat less active than some of the other commonly kept tangs, making them a little better suited to captivity. And the Aptasia eating filefish, remember what we said about copper band butterfly fish? True here as well. We bought almost 30 of these last year trying to address Aptasia and service accounts that we acquired and all but one ate corals. If you think that you may have a coral picker in your aquarium, you can test this theory by placing a piece of coral in an isolated container, a deli cup or an acrylic fish trap works really great. Just make sure that there's enough flow and adequate lighting getting to the coral. If the coral does well in the trap where the fish can't get to it, and the coral doesn't do well outside of the trap or you have other corals that aren't doing well outside of the trap, that's a pretty good indicator that you have a fish that's picking. Check this out, where we did this in an aquarium with a fox face and a flame angel fish. So here's the tank, and this is the rig that we put together. See, we have the tester coral here, a Samacora. And you can see the little bit of algae on the bottom of it moving. It's getting flow through the feed hole on this fish trap, which is getting pumped straight into from the return pump. It's not pretty, but it will do the job. So uh, we are trying to see if this fox face or the angel fish, which of course is hiding right now, might be picking on the uh, SPS and LPS corals. Thanks for watching another video. As promised, here's a toad on a lonely dirt road. What a buddy. And here's a bonus toad. Look at that, two toads for the price of one, only at Tank Nitions. Not one, not two, but three toads, a Tank Nitions exclusive.